Hello everyone, my name is Josie Tackert. You wonder what I'm doing on that rooftop. Well, it's my new house. It's on top of the tower. It's a nice new server that I found out recently. Very nice community named Sunny Survival. Here on Sunny, there's many mods, many difference, and it's not the standard Minecraft that you know and love. Nope. With money, you can do a lot. Here. So let's visit the city and show you what I did with the city in general. So the city is about a hundred thousand uh, blocks claim protection with many players living in it. Uh, most of it is me that I've built but many nice buildings are absolutely made by my player like that gray one and that little that is in construction here. You see this is all the claim we have a new project here soon, I'm eager. We're having even a stadium and many, many new place available for any player that want to join with us in a Hope City. Because that's the name of this little hamlet that I'm starting to build right now. Hope City is a project that is a bit different from my standard automatization. It is more of a human uh, connectivity. Every lot here been sold for free, unless those who have a little house on it. So here the map, you can see it's fairly developed and it will just grow in time. So I'm taking the time to make that video. See, this is the economy. You can put little chests, sell stuff for many reason. Here that was my whole um, place, my whole shop where I was selling everything, but it will become a town hall because nothing is permanent in Hope City. Uh, this is was one of the house that I've lived in and then now it's for sale. This is what my mayor sell place with a nice little luxury shop where he makes money. Uh, another of my little creation, it's a house that is for sale right now because I moved into the big giant tower at the back. Here's the what it looks like inside, a little bed and a nice and tight a uh, storage system here on the ground that I'm usually used to save space. So let's continue our visit. We can see this big structure. Well, when I started with the city, I tried with the standard mob generator to gather all the material they can give. It works, but not as much because of the mods of the server. And here, um, a community smelter with infinity lava. And yes, all the player can have access to that. Uh, since there are the ability to mine spawner by spawners and even wound them, you can have here a nice spawner generator like this one. And uh, my mine is an AFK one allowing no lags when we are playing around. So you sit here a little bit and you think if you stay one, two minute and with all the spawner on top of the platform, it will fill out with monster. Super fun, super comfy and uh, Nice look around around there. Yep, people have talent. I'm eager to see how time will change that city and make it even more cute. That's why I'm taking the time to make that video. I want uh, to show the people that with time things can go very, very, very awesome and grow into um, a communal idea that if we all work together to make something big, it will be nice and very, very beautiful. And that's what I want to do. Simple. You know, some house are not finished. Some players are playing every two weeks or sometime. I'm very lenient on, on that. I want to see what happens. You know, after a while, if a house is too long or not finished, sometimes I'm just going to finish for them. Free. You know, I don't mind. Just for looks. Here's a nice little project from one of my friend. Like this guy is now cleaning all the area, he's gonna flatten in, making a big storage, it's gonna be neat. Uh, we're having um, so much different thing grow going up here because I'm not alone, there's five players living here. And more to come, some are just uh, renting the room at the end. When you think about it, in my other project with all the automatization, I'm having all the blocks from all around and I was making things like this, uh, maze and stuff, using the ability to recreate blocks with all the machine I had. But here, I rely on people. 
I go in the other shops with the economy, I buy their blocks, going faster in some way. So it changed the way you play Minecraft. Um, you can uh, spend your time to build stuff like this uh, stadium, which I'm starting to try to find ways to have fun in kind of PvP without hurting each other because it's mostly non-violent people here. So here's a zone with arrow and it's super fun. When you hit the target, it goes up and the lights goes on and you can see from afar who, who hit the target. So you can actually have a referee and do games here. Uh, and yes, there's a lot of beacons. Beacons are life. It's allowing a lot of advantage throughout the city, like fast travel, making nicer video because I'm actually going faster than usual, not having mm. to run. And here, a little station. Mm. Yeah, that's my new tower. Mm. This beautiful little tower. I'm, I'm not done completely. I know I'm going to make more detail on it, but it's fully functional. It's my new house. And uh, some spawner here generating uh, a wool and cow and that's that's the idea of all of this is using what you have and make something extraordinary and what's what I want to do with Ope City I want I want a player in in me and all together making something wonderful something we're gonna remember with these video and have fun for a long time have a great day guys.